Okay, so I'm back here taking a look at some uh, 2018 baseball cards. I've been looking a, a lot at Topps, uh, which, as I understand it, is nowadays the dominant baseball card producer uh, on the market, uh, the, I guess, licensed baseball card producer. Uh, when you go to Target or Walmart or wherever, as I did today, uh, to pick up the pack before you, uh, you see a whole lot of tops, um, which is, as, as someone who collected uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, is a little bit strange. You have a lot of variety to choose from among the tops cards. Uh, and uh, then after that, it sort of uh, drops off pretty quickly in terms of brands. Um, there is, however, Don Russ, um, which, as I understand it from some quick Googling, uh, is still making baseball cards, uh, but they are not licensed to, uh, to include the, the uh, team names or the MLB logos. Um, so I thought I would take a look just to, to get some diversity on the channel uh, and see what these cards look like. I'll give you my impressions of what Donruss is looking like nowadays. Uh, so this is a value pack with Shohei Otani on the front. You can, you know, see from the cover he doesn't have the, the Angels logo uh, on his hat, um, which is actually quite noticeable um you know he looks like a if you didn't know any better you know just like kind of like a you know like a college player or a minor leaguer or something it's it's really interesting to see how much the logo uh how much value uh in terms of the sort of uh, uh imagery in terms of the i guess the iconicness of the baseball card um the logo has the logo on the uh on the jersey has too so this is supposed to contain four exclusive purple parallels um panini is the company that as i understand it <clears throat> bought don russ uh, I, I could be wrong about that but there's some kind of corporate structure uh, that changed, and that's why Panini is involved. I don't really understand. I don't know if Panini's an Italian company or what. Um, but it really doesn't matter. All right, so let's see what we got. So we've got some kind of... Oh, see, I already see the, the cool Donruss rated rookie logo popping out. I mean, that... That in and of itself, and just in terms of baseball card iconography, uh, is really um, symbolic. Putting aside the fact that they can't actually include the, the they're not licensed to include the team names and logos, uh, Donruss has its sort of own branding uh, that is really cool to see. All right, so let's see what we've got. I'm not sure if I'm, oh, let me just flip it over. Um, okay, so these are, uh, they're nice looking cards. I mean, this is like, um, it's got this, you know, they've got this beautiful shine to them. This is Joey Gallo. You'll see they, you know, there's, there's nothing to indicate he is a major league baseball player other than, um, you know, obviously he's, playing baseball in a major league baseball stadium and it says Texas, uh, which everyone knows is the Rangers, but, um, there's, a, there's something, oh, you know, they, they've, they've done well with what they have in terms of licensing, but there is, there's, there's sort of a feeling that they've scrubbed the good parts, um, from the card, um, sort of like in the, like in a in a TV show where they can't show you the the Coca Cola trademark on the side of the Coke can, so they they scrub it out, or the Apple insignia on the back of the laptop. 
Um, it has that feel to it a little bit. Um, but the, the card itself is really nice. Uh, it's got some nice movement coming up through the logo here. Um, and it's, you know, in a, in a way, the, the fact that there isn't uh, uh, as much detail on the, uh, on the um, player uh, himself uh, sort of simplifies the, the look of the card overall. There isn't as much um, there is as much detail, uh, detail in the, in the card. I, 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 you know, overall I'm, I was expecting to like these less, uh, given what I heard about the, the fact that Don Rust couldn't use the player logos. I sort of thought, well, what's the point? Um, but I, I, I kind of like it. Oh, all right. We've got a Kirby Puckett. Uh, obviously no longer playing. Um, I guess another advantage of not being able to use the logos is you kind of you're kind of uh freed from the um some of the uh rigidity of producing player cards tied to the current players um i mean this looks as if it's i doubt it's numbered or anything like that um but it, it you know it looks like it's they've just incorporated players from you know, back in the day, onto the into the into the base set. Um, all right, we've got a nice Paul Goldschmidt here. I'm trying to determine whether if any of these are um, like refractors. I mean, they're all shiny. I see some kind of purple parallel back there. I think they mentioned I was going to get some of those. Uh, all right, so there's Paul Goldschmidt. Here's another. I guess you can. I don't know if you can call it a throwback, but that's an awesome image of Cal Ripken uh, just uh, locked in on that ball. Um, Carlos Correa. I don't know. It's like once you know a little something about baseball, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't need every last detail. It's like, it's like, um, You, you you know what to look for you know what to expect and so you can um that you know they're they're sort of turning a negative into a positive and trying to um make a card that actually uh focuses in on um the the they're not trying to i guess another way to say it is they're not trying to hide behind the fact that they can't use these logos um encarnacion Oh, there's Seamart, one of my favorite pitchers. Um, he's just so fun to watch. Uh, an awesome player. I'm a huge Cardinals fan. This is an awesome card. Uh, you know, there's no birds. There's no birds on the bat, but I like it. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. All right. So here's another. Uh, there's here's another nod to the the classic Don Russ trademarks, um, the Diamond Kings. Um, I remember those beautifully paint their illustrated painted images of Diamond Kings from the uh, the um, late 80s Don Russ, maybe early 90s too, I don't remember, sets. Um, but it was always exciting to get a Diamond King. And, um, you know, this is actually kind of cool because aside from the fact that it says Waz, which I assume is short for Washington, uh, he might as well be in a Cardinals uniform. Uh, very cool purple parallel, um, not numbered or anything like that. I guess this is just sort of part of it, but that's a, that's a great card. All right. So, um, no disrespect to, uh, Mr. Goldschmidt here, but let's just, let's just move the Bryce card up, up front and center there. That's an awesome card. These, these have a, a great style to them. I gotta say. All right, so let's see what else we got. We've got Andrew Benintendi, Purple Parallel. All right, Rafael Devers, Rated Rookie. I love the Rated Rookie uh, symbol, logo. It's just, it's a, the, it, the, the, that light blue kind of turquoisey color and that uh, sort of compact lettering and the font is really, um, 
you know, you can just see it right away. You know it's Donruss. I guess that's the idea. Um, so it's a Raphael Devers uh, rated rookie purple parallel. Cool. I like it. I love it. It's awesome. Um, here, let's uh, put let's put our our Red Sox friend up up here, or I should say, I guess our Boston friend up at the top. Um, we've got a Kyle Schwarber of Chicago. Uh, that would be the Cubs, not the White Sox. Another collateral problem of the licensing issue, but I think everyone knows that. Out of this world, Paul Goldschmidt. All right, who needs a Paul Goldschmidt base card when you have a an out of this world Paul Goldschmidt, uh, you know, <laughs> that's cool. I don't know. I mean, the, the whole, the whole sort of series here is sort of futuristic, you know, we're in this like sort of space age world with the, with the silver around the outside and the, um, you know, just to, you know, let's take this C mark card. It's like, whoops, it's like, you know, the base of the base cards themselves have this sort of like sleek streamlined, super, super futuristic qualities. So why not go ahead and make a, an, a line of inserts, which uh, I take it is what this is. And, and, uh, and put the, put the guy, put the guy on the moon. Why not? I'll take it. All right, so we've got a Ryan Braun of Mill uh, of the Brewers. This is this is a this is another cool. You know, this is like just just like the uh, the Harper. It's not the Purple Parallel, but it's part of the Diamond King set. Um, that's a nice card. Oh wow! Got our Jack Flaherty. Jack Flaherty was like a huge. Pleasant surprise for the cards. Uh, I mean, he was known to be good, but he was just a... Uh, he, he rose the ranks fast and became a staple of our rotation. Um, ended up going, I think, something like eight games where, um, you know, he allowed zero or one runs or something like that. It's just an incredibly consistent, calm, cool, collected type guy. Uh, so it's awesome to have his rookie card. That's really cool. Um, no offense to my rival, Schwarber, but let's move him over here. Uh, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll scooch him next to Bryce. All right. And then I've got some kind of Glaber Torres, which is never a bad thing. A, a Glaber Torres rookie. Uh, rated rookie. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. This seems like an awesome pack to me. Uh, I, I mean, maybe maybe I'm a little biased because I already got two Cardinals, um, but I'm super excited about that. Um, oh, and an Aaron Judge. So we've got so we've got like uh, some fantastic. You know, it says New York. They're both Yankees. This this is an interesting card. Let's see what this says on the back. If I can hold it still, um, it's not numbered or anything. Um, I, you know, I, I, I guess this is part of the base set. It's unclear to me. Um, but this guy's a total phenom, just an awesome, awesome player. So that's, a, that's a really cool card. Um, I wish you could kind of see his face better. It's a little weird having the card be so sanitized in the first place without the logos to not be able to see his face. But, um, it's it's also very sleek, so that's cool. And then we'll take a look at this Aaron Judge All Stars card. Um, I like it. That's that's a really beautiful Aaron Judge card. Um, so I'm actually really pleasantly surprised at this um, this set here. We'll just zoom out, take a look. Um, so that's your, that's your Donruss optic. Um, man, 
that's a pretty cool pack of baseball cards.